If you were to take a plane from Brisbane on Australia's east coast and fly for 1,400 kilometers east into the great expanse of the Pacific Ocean, and if you had a good navigator, you would find a small island with an excellent airfield built during the Second World War. On the small island, you'll find more than 1,700 people, many of them descendants of the HMS Bounty Ship Mutineers who moved from the Pitcairn Island to this island called Norfolk Island in the 1850s. From here, you're just a short boat ride away from an even smaller island called Phillip Island, where you'll find hundreds of giant, monstrous centipedes that eat birds for dinner. Here are the details. A new study published on August 3rd in the journal The American Naturalist shows how giant venomous centipedes on a South Pacific island are killing and eating up to 3,700 seabird chicks every year. These giant centipedes have become the dominant predator on a remote island only two kilometers wide called Phillip Island. Phillip Island centipedes are monstrous creatures. They can grow to more than a foot in length, and their bodies are protected by tough armor plating. When hunting, they inject a potent venom into their prey via sharp forcibles. The researchers found that these venomous carnivores hunt and consume thousands of black-winged petrel chicks per year, making them the apex predators on the small island and a vital part of its ecosystem. The centipedes hunt at night, leaving their dens and finding their way across the darkened forest floor using their highly sensitive antenna. Because black-winged petrels build burrows in the ground rather than nests in trees, their chicks are easy prey. When a centipede finds an unattended chick, it will bite the chick behind its head, inject its paralyzing venom, and then eat the bird alive. Apart from seabirds, the centipedes were also observed hunting and eating skinks, crickets, geckos, and scavenged fish. The centipede's horrifying hunting habits are actually important for the ecosystem of the island because it brings nutrients from the sea, where the petrels hunt for their food, to the land, which makes the centipedes the primary reason why the island's vegetation has started to grow back. The vegetation was mostly destroyed when humans transformed the island into a penal colony in 1788, introducing pigs, goats, and rabbits that ravaged its foliage. The pigs and goats were removed in the early 1900s and, since the 1980s, conservation efforts by the Norfolk Island National Park's workers, who are based on nearby Norfolk Island, managed to eradicate the remaining rabbits. These efforts allowed the seabirds and centipedes to flourish, which led to the island's ecology rebounding and the foliage gradually returning. Florida has finally found a venomous new animal that is new, but not new in the sense that it's an invasive species that's devastating the local ecosystem. Here are the details. The Miami Herald reports that scientists have found a new species of venomous spider in Miami that looks like a small, shiny black tarantula. It's called the Pine Rockland Trapdoor Spider, and it is indeed a relative of the tarantula. The new spider was first found on the grounds of Zoo Miami. With legs extended, the female can measure up to 7 centimeters wide. This is a trapdoor spider, meaning it lives in a burrow with a hinged cover, like a trapdoor, to hide from predators and ambush unlucky prey. Luckily, the spider's bite is only as painful as a bee's sting to humans. The spiders themselves can be eaten by birds and they can be targeted by wasps who inject wasp eggs into them, which would later hatch as larvas and then devour the spider from the inside. However, the biggest danger to the arachnid is the loss of its habitat. The first specimen was found in critically endangered Pine Rockland Forest surrounding Zoo Miami. It is likely that this species is limited to the small area of threatened habitat, which means it could be threatened itself. Although many people would be glad that this scary and venomous cousin of the tarantula is probably heading for extinction, scientists are already making plans to try and save this rare species. In what reads like a concept for a horror film, scientists have discovered a new species of parasitic fungus that turns flies into tweaking, parasite-spreading zombies. Here is what they found. Two new species of fungi have been discovered in Denmark that turn flies into zombies and eat them from inside out while the flies shoot out fungus spores like rockets. The new species, Strongwell C. tigrinae and Strongwell C. acerosa, infect two types of Danish fly, Coenotia tigrina and Coenotia testacea, according to research published in the Journal of Invertebrate Pathology. Spores from the fungus stick to the fly's cuticle and make their way into the abdomen, where they bore large holes from which thousands of torpedo-shaped spores burst to infect other flies. The fly goes on to live for several days while the fungus devours its genitals, fat reserves, reproductive organs, and lastly, its muscle. During this time, the fly continues to interact with and spread spores to other victims, although researchers say the fungus only infects between 3% and 5% of flies in a healthy population. 
Researchers from the Natural History Museum of Denmark and the University of Copenhagen's Department of Plant and Environmental Sciences suspect the two fungi may produce substances like amphetamines. These chemicals keep their hosts alive and energized until there is nothing left in its abdomen but fungus. Why is this disgusting new discovery important? Researchers believe the amphetamine-like chemicals that keep the flies invigorated also keep other microorganisms away from the fly's wounds, and this could lead to health benefits for humans. Speaking to The Guardian, University of Copenhagen ecologist Jorgen Eilenberg said, We would definitely like to continue our research, as doing so has the potential to discover and later make use of these substances, perhaps in medicine. Newspapers in Florida are reporting that Florida now has yet another invasive species to worry about. This time, it's a frog with sharp claws, which it uses to tear up its prey. Florida is already suffering from a flood of invasive Burmese pythons, iguanas, giant tegu lizards, lionfish, and other exotic animals that are decimating local wildlife. Formerly known as the tropical clawed frog, the small amphibian has protruding eyes, a flattened body, and short talons attached to each limb. These frogs are voracious eaters, mostly snacking on insects. However, they will sometimes eat tadpoles and young frogs of other species. Originally from West Africa, these frogs threaten to unbalance Florida's fragile ecosystems as they compete with native species for food and other resources. Professor Cristina Romagosa from Florida University says this newest invader represents yet another disturbance to Florida's aquatic ecosystems, which are already vulnerable due to habitat destruction, pollution, invasive species and disease for more news animations and explainers hit the subscribe and bell button to join the tomo news family thanks for watching